Hello, Vent Riders. Today, we're in Lincolnton, North Carolina at Trident Trikes. And we're going to stop in and see what uh, Tom Floor has in his shop. Uh, it's a beautifully restored building. I think you'll be interested to uh, hear the story behind this and take a look at his beautiful trike. So let's head on inside, shall we? Oh, Tom Floor. Hey, welcome to uh, Lincolnton, North Carolina, Trident Trikes, and welcome to the Laidback Bike Report. This is a uh, building that was built in 1939. Uh, we spent over two years refurbishing it, and uh, we, we like to think it's the coolest trike shop in the world. So uh, <laughs> let, let's take on a little tour. This is actually our showroom and our offices. Uh, we, we, we build in other places, we warehouse in other places, but this is just for customers to come uh, test ride. We actually are right on a rail trail, uh, the Marsha Cloninger Rail Trail, which is right behind us. And so we, we get lots of people here, surprisingly, even though we're out in the middle of nowhere, uh, just, just uh, coming to test ride trikes. But we keep about 25 trikes on display here, so it's, it's, it's a really large display. So the, the first one, we, we have to keep uh, the chameleon on the ceiling. Uh, it, it's almost 11 feet long, and uh, there is no great place for it. The chameleon is your tandem. It's our tandem. Uh, it's what we call a converted trike. It converts from a tandem to a single. Um, have a lot of larger stuff at the bottom here. A lot, uh, most of the fat tires are here. Uh, the stuff that's a little lighter in weight we've put up top here. Uh, again, we have a couple of trikes that we keep up on the racks too. Um, the infamous Odyssey that everybody's waiting where it is. <laughs> there it is right there. Uh, this is uh, the, the Gossamer. This is the goss first Gossamer, which is the world's lightest trike. This is in at 9.9 .9 kilos. Uh, and, and we keep some just special stuff here that we work on. Um, th that isn't stock, but we have people come here that want to ride some stuff that you just can't see on our website. All right, if you want to come on in, this is the office. Okay. Uh, this is where uh, we, you know, talk to dealers, take orders. Uh, w one cool thing you'll see about this, again, getting back to the building, there are no ceilings in any of the rooms. They're just divider walls in here. Oh. So we're in the back half of the shop now. This is our, our assembly area. Uh, we, we do uh, assembly of all the trikes. Obviously, we have to work on them. Uh, we do some shipping from here and, and shipping on the other side. Next we have just, just our uh, garage door and it's just so we can let people out uh, out onto the rail trail to uh, test drive trucks. Okay. Uh, easier we have a truck uh, dock up there that we can you know pull trucks into and, and load trucks out as well. And a ramp for the trikes to go rolling down. Ramp. Uh, when we first uh, did this building there was no ramp there and we had to lift trikes uh, down the 40 inches and right. That got, that got old quickly. We keep a lot of just spare parts up here, extra boxes, uh, tools, and, and just, uh, just supplies that we need. We either call this my man cave or the, the employee break area. Yeah, it's very homey. It, it is. We have a kitchen, uh, couch, big screen TV, vending machine. Uh, but aside from the wine, we, we, are, we are coffee snobs here at uh, Trident Trikes, and anybody who wants to come in, I, I promise you, I make as good a cup of coffee as you can get uh, anywhere. I can attest to that. Uh, Tom, um, what's behind the door? Well, behind the door is just, uh, and we actually have two, two doors. Uh, this is just parts storage that we store all the parts. Uh, we do ship our trikes uh, out of our warehouse in Charlotte, but all the parts come out of here. So we have a pretty large supply uh, of parts uh, on hand so we can ship next day uh, on all uh, dealers and customers that order parts from us. This is the Marsha Cloninger Rail Trail. Uh, runs through the entire town of Lincolnton. Uh, it's completely paved and it just makes some great riding both you know for test riding for our customers uh, but it's busy all year round. Uh, there's a lot of people riding bikes, a lot of people walking, uh, walking their dogs, running and it is really one of the perks of being right here where we are. Uh, the other per uh, perk is obviously, uh, this is uh, February the 8th, we are in North Carolina, I have a t-shirt on. Uh, we were out riding and it was almost 80 degrees yesterday. This is just uh, our, our public service for the city that we have our weather forecasting station. Uh, it is never wrong, it has never been wrong. Uh, we have the weather stone, obviously you can see the stone is pretty calm, uh, so there is no wind out. Yeah, you're right. This was an old feed and seed warehouse. Uh, again, this building used to be on the railroad, which is where the rail trail was. And they loaded, you know, 100 pound bags of seed off the railroad uh, into this building. Um, it, it, it really had no historical significance per se. The building was built in 1939. Uh, but we bought this building several years ago and, and we spent over two years uh, just refurbishing it. Once we got done, uh, as a matter of fact, the building inspector said this was the best restoration that he had ever seen in the county. 
and uh, it, it was just a labor of love. There was never any interior walls in here. Uh, there was never any heat, never any electricity, never had water in here. It was just really a shell. Uh, it, it's amazing that it stood all these years. We started about four and a half years ago uh, on the restoration. And uh, again, it took just, uh, just around two years. So we've been open in this location for about two and a half years. It took us almost five months to straighten these floors out. That was the very first thing we had to do. Uh, the, uh, the corner over there was down 13 inches. Uh, and we spent too much under the building just straightening them as much as we can. We didn't want to make the floors perfect. Uh, but uh, the, these are, uh, the, the floors themselves are heart, heart pine. Uh, they're about an inch and a half thick, but it's on double two by eights on top of more double two by eights. So if there's ever a, an earthquake, this is where you want to be. All right, shall we just wait for one or? We, we, it, it might be a long wait. <laughs> I hope so. Okay, Tom, let's get on the trail. Let's go for a ride. Tom, thank you so much for showing us around Trident Trikes. It's been a real eye-opener seeing what you have here in Lincolnton, North Carolina. Appreciate you guys coming. It's always a pleasure to have a laid-back back report, and I'm sure I will see you at Spetsy in Germany. We will see you in Germany. Wait till the car goes by. Well, Tom Floor. Gary Solomon, how are you? Good. Well, welcome to <laughs> huh? Well,
Tom Floor. Welcome uh, to the Laid Back Bike Report to Tried and Drunk. Ah! <laughs> ah, I guess it's Tom Floor. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine that. Tom, when was it that the restoration was complete? And why are there dogs in here? Try and try.